So what are the top foods that you should avoid if you don't want to lower your testosterone? These are the foods that may affect your testosterone levels negatively, obviously if you're not on TRT, but if you're a natural person looking to find out if you're going to lower your levels, we're gonna discuss it after this, so keep watching. Some questions that have come up as, what are those foods that lower your testosterone levels or may lower your testosterone levels. So hi, George, welcome. Nice to find you here in Las Vegas, yes. Michael, after <laughs> Columbus, after London, after Athens, yes. now here in the Sin City. Yeah, I've seen you a lot this year, you're right. We've yeah. been uh, all over the world. So the first uh, food that I think you're gonna say is what, soy? Soy, because soy is estrogen, and we know that estrogens antagonize uh, androgens, and uh, soy has been blamed to lead perhaps to uh, elevated estrogens that shut off uh, GnRH and LH from the brain that in, in, as a result increase testosterone. So it has to be avoided and uh, of course the other toxic harmful compound is ethanol which is alcohol okay. because it aromatizes in the liver by heim, and uh, those estrogens lower of course testosterone. As a matter of fact alcoholics that develop gynecomastia have lower testosterone so we should not booze. Um, the alcohol one, it also raises cortisol uh, as well, doesn't it? So that it's not good for uh, general... Uh, well, cortisol, yeah, then when I testosterone, of course. The other thing I want to mention is the saturated, uh, the trans fat, which is uh, atherogenic and inflammatory in general. Uh, where do you find trans fats? In all fried foods. All right, what okay. about uh, that, that some of the peanut butters would put the trans fats in? Would they, they be like palm oil? If it's oil? roasted, I think, if it's roasted, yeah, palm oil. Uh, uh, hydrogenated. Hydrogenated, yes, uh, fats, okay, and uh, refined carbohydrates. So the hydrogenated are the trans fat that are unstable and under high temperature, under frying uh, procedure. Uh, they change the structure, the cis and the trans, so they are kind of unstable, but mostly they are authenogenic, and one form of inflammation, of course, is the cytokine release from the visceral fat that also uh, lowers the testosterone. Right. Okay, so avoid the trans fats. Um, the next one uh, is flax, flax seed, flax oil. Is it, I suppose, also because it, it mimics uh, estrogen similar to soy in the body? And I know I had an issue with it years ago when I was on flax seed. Um, I think it was a health food, and maybe in small quantities it is, but maybe if you overconsume it, that may lower your testosterone. But I'm sure of, uh, I'm positive about the soy and the alcohol, the ethanol, okay? There are some people who are very big fans of soy, and uh, I, I've had debates over the, the years The vegans, about actually, soy. and soy is considered to be, uh, have a better spectrum of amino acids as a vegan protein, but seriously, you cannot depend on soy. <laughs> and you can find soy in all sorts of protein bars, um, you know, some of the new, other nutritional health bars. Um, and, and Chris and used to say that soy equals estrogens, and estrogens, of course, taken from nutrition. The only beneficial thing about the phytoestrogens and the soy, perhaps, is to improve the thermometric profile to lower the LDL, you know? Okay. Um, but uh, well, in regards to testosterone, it's not good. What about dairy? Now, a lot of people avoid dairy. They use coconut milk instead or uh, almond the milk. The dairy, you know, milk. I prefer to eat uh, goat products and sheep goat. because goat they're not sheep. doped, those small animals. So the issue... Related to the cow, which is a large uh, animal and can be doped with hijack one in order for further milk and meat or, production. Or maybe even estrogenic products or other chemicals in milk and from cows, from dairy. That, uh, a small animal is less likely to, com to, to be toxic or harmful. Let's say the same equals also for fish. The large fish like tuna, swordfish, and shark mainly contain larger amounts of mercury rather than a small salmon, which is in the river, for instance, or in the cold sea. Right, okay. so it's not good for your health either. If you've heard of other foods, let us know in the comments and it's something that we haven't mentioned, uh, we can, we'd be happy to, to share with others. And um, if you do like the content, please consider subscribing, liking the channel. 